mother sees what you've done to your new Sunday toga, Junior. Well, don't blame it on me, Pop. Blame it on Skinny Flavius's dog. Skinny Flavius's dog is only six weeks old. But that briar patch in our backyard isn't. Is that what tore your toga? Uh huh. The dog was chasing me, and I jumped over the fence without looking. Mm, by overlooking the briar patch, you overlook one of my most wisest sayings. Look before you leap. Gosh, is that one of yours? Yes, it is, and so is this fable. The country frog and the city frog. Once there was a frog, a poor country frog. His only possession was a small farm on which the only thing he could grow were gopher holes. I got holes in my farm, holes in my shoes, and a hole in my head, or I wouldn't still be here. That was the year the world discovered the game of golf. Four! And as anyone can tell you, the object of the game is to put the ball in a hole. That was also the year there was a shortage of holes, but not on the frog's farm. I'll give you 50,000 cash for 18 holes. I'll make it 60,000. The frog sold every gopher hole on his farm and overnight amassed a huge fortune. I'm going to take me a roll of nickels and I'm going to the big city. I'm going to have me a time. And then he saw it. The Bijou Theater directly across the street. And on the marquee, the frog gets 50 beautiful dancing frogs. After purchasing a ticket, which incidentally was only a nickel, he took a seat in the very front row. I have done died and gone to heaven. One gorgeous creature in particular caught his fancy, the star of the show, Amphibian. Her performance so unnerved the simple frog that he began popping nickels into his mouth, thinking they were jelly beans. Amphibian had seen a lot of big spenders, but this looked like the biggest of them all. By grannies, Miss Fibian, sure was neighborly of you to let me buy you this expensive dinner. I worship the bank you keep your money in, honey. A mad courtship followed. Money was no object when it came to Amphibian. She spent nickels like they were pennies. They were nights at the opera, days at the races, and afternoons in the fur shop. Buy me that Alaskan seal, would you, sweetheart? How much is it? Only 20,000 nickels. Well, that sounds reasonable. Needless to say, it wasn't long before the frog was down to his last nickel. What are we going to do tonight, frog honey? Well, I thought we'd go somewhere and make a phone call. Talk to the operator, things like that. Let's get something straight, big boy. If you want me to be your honey, you've got to spend lots of money. Well, in that case, you wait right here, yeah? In an effort to raise money fast, he took the first job to come along, which happened to be in a circus. Only thing we need right now is a high diver. Tell me what to do. You see the 5,000-foot platform? Dive off of that into this bucket. Ain't that a mite dangerous? Yeah, but it pays good. Willing to risk anything, the frog ascended the ladder and poised athletically at the edge of the platform. Ain't exactly leap year, but here goes. The little frog jumped out into space and plunged like a rocket toward the bucket far below. But as luck would have it, the weather suddenly changed. A cold snap set in and the water in the bucket froze solid. Well, there's nothing new about a frog diving into a bucket of ice, so he was fired. What in the blue-eyed world am I gonna do? If I don't find me some money, I'll... And then he saw it. In the gutter was a nickel. Maybe my luck has changed. He put the nickel in a weighing machine, and instead of a fortune, two nickels came out. Flushed with his newfound wealth, he dashed into a phone booth to call Amphibian. But instead of getting her number, three nickels fell out. On a bus that would take him to Anne's apartment. He dropped the three nickels into the coin receiver. And out came a transfer. He was as broke as ever. Annie, honey... I'm Nicholas. I don't care what your front name is, honey. I got news. Your broker sold the last of your gopher holes. Here's 10,000 nickels. Hot Ziggy, let's us go make a long distance phone call. Oh, no, you don't. This wouldn't last me a fortnight. You're going to enter a frog jumping contest and will win a fortune. But Anna, baby, I can't jump. You won't have to, Green Eyes. We'll bet on another frog. And so on the day of the jumping contest, the little frog took his place on the starting line. Now remember, love, don't jump a foot. You'll lose and we'll win. He had to make it look good, so he took a few steps back to get set for a false effort. But not looking where he was going, he backed into a bush on which sat a bee. And the frog took off on the longest jump ever recorded by man. He won the contest, but he lost his money and amphibian. So you see, Junior, look before you leap. I got a better one, Pop. Don't you always? All right, let's have it. Once bitten, twice spry. No, go play in the briar patch, son.